Hey guys, welcome. My name is Aviva and welcome back to a new video. At least it's a new type of video for me. It's a Sims build and I actually got inspired by a floor plan, which I will show you in a bit. I'm just measuring out how much a room should be for each part of the house. There you can see the floor plan. It's like a starter apartment uh, studio type of thing. I do, however, uh, end up changing it a little bit because um, I don't like the box idea of it and I wanted to have a little bit more variety in the build. So um, I actually forgot how to raise uh, a foundation so I, <laughs> and I ended up raising floors here. Uh, I will figure it out a little bit later. Um, but not just yet. <laughs> I've actually been out of the building mode uh, for for a long time. So please cut me some slack. It has been like I think a half a year or a year since I last built something in The Sims. So it took me some time to figure all the stuff out again. Actually trying to find or figure out some of the walls for the outside. But I'm thinking well it only has one floor maybe I should check if I can you know get a roof on it uh, let's see if I can make that more interesting which I ended up not being able to because it's just it's just a box it, <laughs> it's so not interesting to look at so I end up uh, doing a little bit more on the second floor uh, cutting out a little part here actually I'm actually putting up like a, a tower hallway type of thing just to add more uh, variety to the build to make it less of just a box um, and the option for a roof terrace so it's not an actually a second floor it's just you know a little bit m more playful build this way I think I think but I'm trying to put up a roof here and it's not to my liking. I don't like the roof. It doesn't really fit the rest um, at this moment. So just trying to make it a different shape. It, it doesn't work. Ugh. So there we go. Put up a different roof. Um, now I'm actually finding out here that I messed up something with the, the floor. Because I thought, well, it's a door for like a one one height height of a wall and it doesn't fit that's weird so i actually put down floors here i haven't figured out how to uh, put up the foundation i still it has been such a such a long time so i'm actually putting in the doors as you can see trying to keep to the floor plan in that way as much as i could but as i said i am changing it up a little because i'm adding stairs instead of a washer drying room here I go for a different type of doorway and now I'm just looking up some stuff I'm trying to make uh, the tower a different color and I really like this color so I thought maybe if I exchange or if I if I um, extend the roof there that will be better and it wouldn't it really wouldn't so now I'm trying to uh, put in these wall uh, wall bricks as it were and I'm tended to go for the darker one at first but I think yeah I end up with the lighter one but then the brownish of the tower is not to my liking so I changed it to a darker tone um, adding the walls to the rest of the build also uh, making the smaller backside yeah house part in the same dark so you have a little bit of a contrast there. And changing up the roof again a little bit. I will change it later because it's still not it's not to my liking. So now I have added in light doors. I'm gonna change them for darker doors. Also here I think I figured out um, how to actually yeah how to put up the foundation because it, it was just a different button I had to press that that was all but yeah it, it took me some time <laughs> it took me some time so I'm actually not putting up the foundation as high as I um, 
as I did at the start. I just wanted to raise it a little bit, not too much. Changing the door colors. And I actually wanted to add some brown into the build. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe I can put this color. Maybe that's a good color to use there. But I didn't like it. So I went black anyway. Because, I don't know, I don't think the brown there fitted as it should. Also, it's, uh, changed the color of the trims of the roof, just to give it a little bit more contrast there as well. Now here, I was trying to figure out what uh, what window I wanted to use, because in the floor plan, it has a different type of window. I couldn't find that kind of window, so I, I kind of went my own way there. Which is fine, which is completely fine, but I, I tried to figure out, okay, wh which one do I want? And I still go for the black there. And now I actually change it to white because I think, well, you know, otherwise everything's gonna be black. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I wanted to use black uh, windows um, on the tower part because that way I think that looked a lot better. And if I use black on the other windows as well, then I think it would have gone too black. I don't know. For the house at least. So I did it like that. <laughs> I wanted a lot of light in the in the hallway, a lot of natural lights, uh, a little bit modern look, I think. So I'm putting up the windows here. Um, I do. I think I, I, I'm not keeping the windows because I'm changing the roof later on anyway. Okay, so I also need stairs to get onto the foundation because otherwise my sims won't be able to uh, to join the party. <laughs> also, change, uh, adding some stairs in the back, uh, putting a roof up there on the tower, and now I actually don't like the way the other roof looks because I feel like um, it was just a house with a tower built next to it instead of it being it, it instead of that the house is supposed to be one part so ended up changing this and i did like it better this way so i think i keep it this way also adding another ro uh, another room <laughs> yeah another window now moving on to the flooring, I only used uh, tiles for the bathroom and then just one type of flooring for the inside because, you know, keeping in mind that it's a starter build, uh, it's a starter apartment, well, if you go to your first type of apartment, I don't think you will be able to get all different kinds of, uh, of flooring in your house. So there I changed uh, to like a wooden type of uh, of wall and I don't notice it until later that actually the whole roof part is uh, is painted at one go so I end up changing that don't worry but I haven't figured that out by now yet not yet so here we go um, we're gonna furnish furnish the bathroom I actually wanted to go for a bold black color with you know blue blue tiles of the bath um, but I end up choosing a more natural look for the tiles on the wall so I actually um, changed the whole look of the bathroom to just a nice natural botanic type of look you know just just more natural uh, um, brown tones which I think looked look nice I end up changing the toilet place as well um, just because I felt like uh, I have to put something in the corner because otherwise it, it felt like such a such a useless corner, you know. So now I I'm just decorating a little bit and putting in a carpet, just you know to uh, to give it some more um, I don't know color, more decoration, more the idea of a real bathroom. I don't know. So here I'm putting up shelves. This took me a, li a longer time to figure out as well, so I, I had been looking up how to raise the shelves again because it's been so long I didn't remember all of the, the you know the buttons to press, but I figured it out quickly, so I it, it ended up being fine. I also wanted some candles, but obviously they are all way too big, 
And candles that are way too big, you can downsize them, but the light will still remain the same as the original size. Which is kind of sad, because that way you cannot um, really change, um, change the lights to a smaller size. So moving on to the mirror, I find out that that window is in my damn way. So I just delete it and I replace it for a smaller window just so that the sinks have a nice uh, mirror to look at. Now here I go putting in some wallpaper. In the inside of the room I end up not changing a lot. Like in the end, um, in the end of it I do change up in the living room. But that's after after the build. That's when I was making screenshots to put in the video. So you will actually see that result. But first the kitchen. I was just figuring out which cabinets I liked. And how I wanted the cabinets to uh, to look like. Uh, so that there you have that here. Now I haven't changed the color of the cabinets. I will do that in a bit. Because I, I really wanted to put in uh, the back tiles first. Just to see what what kind of look I was going for because I was still thinking uh, should I go a bold color or should I not and I end up doing a little bit of a darker color which is fine it's uh, because I'm, I'm gonna put lights in there anyway so now I'm gonna change up and I decide you know what let's just do a contemporary look just a, a simple gray with white now I have gray cabinets there, I actually changed them to a lighter because I thought this was going to be a little bit too dark for my liking. I'm um, gonna put on the lights just beneath the cabinet, I think, yes. And there you have light. Also added the dishwasher because I thought, well, that's, that's something you really need. Um, I didn't actually add more appliances like coffee machine or anything uh, because I feel like, you know, if you would decide to um, to download this house and to check it out for yourself, um, you can add in your own appliances, you can change around stuff, you know, that's, that's all completely fine. It's just, you know, it's just a fun, fun build for me to do. I wanted to uh, make um, a cabinet of that, you know, where you can get your plates and your, your bowls and stuff like that. Moving on to the bed area. It is kind of weird that you have the bed in the same room as your living space and your kitchen area and then have such a huge walk-in closet. But it was on the floor plan, so of course I was gonna stick to it that much. And it's fun, you know, it's fun. It's, it's like, yeah, you know, I have my I have my bed like across of the kitchen, but I do have this big walk-in closet. So just just went with it. I just went with it. And I wanted to do some nice fashionable lights. I ended up doing that one. Which I thought, well, it gives you good lighting. Just a bold carpet underneath it. Fits well with the bed, I think. So, putting up some cabinets. Now, in the floor plan, I think there was uh, there were paintings instead of a window. But I do like uh, the window there. Because um, you can add some curtains in it. Which I'm doing now, I think. Just seeing what color I wanted to use, and I ended up doing that one. Just a just a white, simple color, but you know it, it kind of gives you a little bit more to to the aesthetics of the room, I think. So looking at the floor plan again here, um, we actually move on to the living room now. The the couch had some pillows on it, so I was actually just looking for a couch with pillows that had a nice color as well so i ended up doing this one i think yeah uh, also put in a table for the tv and of course i cannot completely copy the whole look or the whole build which it's is completely fine because it shouldn't it's it's not fun when you do that There we go. I uh, actually changed around the carpet to a different color because I wanted more color. I went for a warm but still vibrant look. I think I end up changing that later on anyway. 
because you know I keep changing my mind about this this type of stuff so adding some candles as well just to add a little bit more warm light and I feel like you know, we need a plant so I'm adding a plant more plants <laughs> and at this time I was thinking well the, the room still looks so empty even though I'm adding stuff here so I think maybe um, I should add some curtains which I'm doing right now and I I really like this color but then I was yeah I was kind of skeptical does the carpet color match these curtains no not really so I went looking for different types of curtains uh, different types of carpets just to see if um, if there was anything better but I think yeah this is the one that I keep it with so not the vibrant yellow red tones but more the the I, I, I think sunset look uh, like the pink the purple the blue I thought it looked better so actually at the end of this uh, this part in the screenshot like I said I changed the walls because I, I when I was doing the screenshots I still felt like um, the, the the room was too um, empty in a way so I added a little bit of a darker color which really fixed a lot of it so moving on to the dining area now I know that on the floor plan it has like uh, two island cab kitchen cabinets um, but I thought this fitted better and I know it's like in the middle of the, the the walkway I know but I didn't I didn't really dislike the way it was I thought it actually matched the idea of the whole house look anyway now here I wanted to do this big hallway light now I'm not sure if you can actually use that stair still I haven't tested it so if you're trying to um, uh, to get this house and they cannot walk uh, up the stairs then feel free to just delete the light but just for the looks of it the aesthetic I really liked it uh, now I found out that here the roof was uh, yeah was a different color I tried to fix it also found the knives and the spatulas so I decided to hang them up as well and I'm just figuring out should I do something to cover this up I don't know I don't like the look of this either so I deleted it ended up doing some planters yeah like that just to have something there in the hallway so this I I don't know where I was going for with this look I was I had no idea what to what to put there so I decided to put this uh, in the hallway I mean feel free to to delete it and make it your own hallway that's that's fine um, actually also trying to figure up uh, figure out how to uh, fill up this empty space underneath the stair so I thought maybe I can put a desk there nah but you know in order to put a desk there which they can use you have to put a chair as well and I think that will block the whole stairs uh, anyway so I decided to just put a plant there okay going to the back side like the lower uh, yeah what's it called lower terrace thingy I guess decided to uh, change it up a bit because I didn't really like the the whole extent of the wall there so I decided to make make it a little bit shorter at a fence put on some uh, pillars some poles just for support for the, the the higher part and then just add a cute little table with some nice chairs turn them around and just put them down add a new plant obviously because that was also on the floor plan it wasn't on a different side but I have the stairs there so I can I cannot put a plant there it wouldn't make any sense also adding some lights you know for the evening so I actually I think yeah I make it dark which I really actually liked the look of like it, it's it's cute you know like if you want to be outside in the evening you know read a little book have a little chat anything that's that's fun so add a little candle different color and added a plant just for some more green because I don't want it to be just a flat wall with nothing on it now I think I'm moving on to the yeah to the mailbox and the, the bin for the outside and I wanted to add some plants to the house because I felt it is too flat it's too boring it's ugh. 
And I used to be way better at this, but oh, I... I don't know. It has been such a long time. I really need to get back into it more. I was trying to figure out, uh, so I ended up with putting some pillars. So I have the green. I actually did like that look. Um, adding some stone pavement here, I think. I'm trying to find it. So there we go. Checked if it clipped through the house, which it did. So put it in front of that. <laughs> and I found out that it clipped right through the mirror. So I actually <laughs> made them uh, come out to the front a little bit more. Which gives it a, even a better look, in my opinion. So it's just a fun little build. And, you know, it's nothing to... Uh, nothing to... Uh, too difficult or you know it's just just a fun easy getting back into it build you know oh sorry so putting up some grass there also doing some landscaping because i i still felt like the the sides of the house they were just so flat they were s such flat walls <laughs> i really didn't like it so i was just trying to i don't know Make it, give it a better look, adding some brown to it, you know. Making it look a little bit more interesting. Also added some trees. Just because I could. Um, and at this point I, uh, I knew I was missing something. I just didn't know what. And I was, I was like, it's fine. I just want to finish finish off this build I I'm not sure what to do with this anymore <laughs> it's just I, my brain was empty at that point so that's why it might look a little bit more rushed but yeah as I said when I used to build more frequently then I knew where to find my stuff I, I always um, I also looked into debug stuff you know stuff like that and I I could accomplish so much more with uh, landscaping than I did now which is okay I mean you know it's just uh, it's just for some fun and for some fun I think I did an okay job it was fun to do and it's fun to look at so I think we'll be going into the into the screenshots 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 shortly jesus yeah so over here oh yeah i i decided to add some magazines because as it as it was in the floor plan it had some clutter in it and i thought well i shouldn't forget the, the you know magazines so i i added some of those in so that is the look that's the house there we go so into the screenshots we go So that's the back of the house, the bathroom. It was really hard to actually take a picture of it. The kitchen, we have it here with the bed, all cozy and stuff with a walk-in closet and a look right outside your door. So here you actually see the changed color of the, of the area. It, it adds a little bit more to it, I think. And the hallway, I think you won't be able to get off that, uh, <laughs> that chair. So this is the outside in the evening. Oh, I really, I really like this look. So thank you so much for watching and uh, hopefully I will see you next video. Have a good one.